45 to nothing UCLA. This is the 20th anniversary of Earl Campbell winning the Heisman Trophy for the Texas Longhorns. And uh, Ricky Williams, they call him Little Earl around here. Those two get together rather often and have discussions like this. I think he's a, you're a lot faster than I was. I am a little bit faster, not, not a lot. I tell you what, I bet you. I only did a 4.740. Okay. What do you do? I run about a 4.4. Four. Yeah, see, yeah, so I only could do a 4.7. But I, I never seen anyone catch you before. <laughs> Well, I think this, though. I think when you're running the football, as you know, mm -hmm. you take Saturday night when you ran that long touchdown, mm -hmm. you might have been running a 4-3. I know, because I, I felt like no one could catch me. That that's night. right. Yeah. And that's why I disagree with running a 40-yard dash, because when, like that Monday night game I played against yeah, the, I saw that. Uh, just, Miami. Yeah, ran past everybody. Well, then I probably ran a 4-6 or a 4-5 that right, night. Right. So when somebody's chasing you, you never know what you're You're a lot faster, run. yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, what Earl didn't say is he ran over 4.6 people every, right. uh, every time he carried the football. Ricky Williams has been unable really to get in the flow of things because Texas was on the short end in this score so quickly. And after this kickoff, we'll show you remarkable statistics between those two. Earl Campbell entering his junior year and uh, Ricky Williams his. Sailor's kick. It'll be McGarity. Three yards in, and he won't bring it out. Texas will work from the 20. You look at what these guys have done in 25 career games. It's phenomenal how everything is almost identical, with the exception of Earl caught his first pass when he was a junior. Ricky's already got 41 career catches. Yeah, that's the, the change in the game, though. Earl could catch the ball, I think, but... Uh...